Well, whether you do it to relieve stress or you just enjoy it, today is the day to celebrate bubble wrap and the popping that comes along with it. Yes, and Marty is celebrating where else but at a local packing company. Hello, Marty. Well, hello, Tim. Uh, I mean, this is Tim. And we want to say hi to Tim Williams, too. Hello, Tim. Hello, Sienna. Hello, Meg. Good morning, everyone. How are you? Uh, this is Dave and Matt Orlando. This is Tim Lane, who's the plant manager here at Orlando Products Incorporated. We've been having a lot of fun, but I really need to point something out. It's a 140,000 square foot building, 100 employees, and they make really high tech packing equipment for a whole lot of different industries. And you're very gracious to host us today talking about bubble wrap. Tim, come on a little closer to me here. You tell me the history of bubble wrap as you know it. As I know it, bubble wrap was invented in 1957 in New Jersey by a couple of guys that were actually trying to create wallpaper. And it didn't work. Wallpaper. wallpaper. How so? Shower curtains? Shower curtains. They were trying to laminate shower curtains made out of plastic and it didn't it didn't work and it didn't sell. But it did have air behind it, so they got air, they found it had air in it, and they used it, uh, they realized that it would work as a packaging material. And, and the rest, as they say, is history. Tell me, uh, you, you buy this in linear feet? Well, really, we buy it in bundles like you see here, but each bundle is 250 feet. And you were telling me that you all spend over six figures a year on bubble wrap. Yeah, we spend about $110,000 a year on bubble wrap. And given, given the amount of packing material in here, it's just one of the solutions for, for packing. Yep. Yeah, it's one of the smaller ones we actually do here. Some of the other foam viewers can see in some of the other shots are what we do with the majority of, and that's you know well over seven figures in that stuff. But, 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 but here it is. <laughs> do, and, and once again, do you just leave stuff laying around so people can just de-stress? No, if we left stuff laying around so people could de stress, we wouldn't have any left. We'd spend three times as much in bubble wrap every year. And as I'm sitting here on live TV, you know, saying, hey, listen, thank you so much for hosting us. Hey, we thank really, you, we really appreciate it. And this is, well, this is one spectacular place. I mean, there, there, you can't see it because we'd have to shoot up high. But, Tim, you guys actually pack drones in this. Yes. I mean, yes, if, we do. I mean, if I, I could take this and throw it down, the drone would be safe. Yes, it would. This is the stuff that, that is designed here at this location, Orlando Products. Here, we're, we're, we're between Cherry Hill, Westport, and Lansdowne. National Bubble Wrap Day, everybody. <laughs>